Hi, welcome back to the Bread Lab. Today we're going to be showing you some techniques for scoring baguettes. We shaped these baguettes in a prior video. Now they've gone through their final proof and we're going to put them into the oven. So we're going to use a lom to hold our double-edged razor blade. Uh, if you don't have the lom, a popsicle stick whittled down to hold the blade works great. That holds us on a little bit of a curve for us. And now we'll go to the bread to, to score. So as a righty or a lefty, I'm going to hold towards the back of the lom. That way my blade can glide through the, ble the bread and not jab into the bread. So holding towards the back, the key is to have a flat blade and you're filleting the skin. That's going to promote that ear to stand up. So with our guideline, dividing the bread into thirds, you see we're going to try to overlap these cuts. We're not scoring across the bread, we're still we're thinking about scoring down the bread. So with our blade, tilt that wrist back so I can read the top of the blade. Think about gliding into that skin. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so more things to think about. I like to be eye level with the bread if I can, supporting my weight with my other hand. Tilt that wrist back and then gliding in. I'm not tracing a line as much as, as thinking about pushing into that bread as I score. I'm not following a straight line, thinking about arcing in slightly as I cut. Okay, common mistakes. Common mistakes that you'll see are starting and stopping a score at the same place. Starting and stopping at the same place. That leaves no room for, exp for expansion at this point all the way down. Another mistake is cutting too far across the bread. Okay, that leaves no room for expansion at these points as well. By cutting straight, essentially straight down that bread, that's breaking it in right down the middle, allowing it to expand the full length of the bread. Okay, we're gonna get these in the oven. We're also gonna leave one unbaked to see the difference in volume see the effect of these errors as well. Okay, here are our baguettes out of the oven. First we have our three demos of what we don't want to see in our scoring. This is our bread that we scored directly across. You can see how that stunted its, its expansion. Here we have the one that we started and stopped the scores. That tore at each one of those places into one giant score and then our kind of tight stick that we didn't score. So we definitely lose some volume by not scoring. And then we have our three properly scored. Okay, what we want to see is the straight sides. Straight sides, we see that ear popping up. Okay, it just takes a lot of repetition to get those scores even, even length. Uh, sometimes the bread will corkscrew if you're kind of scoring in the staircase manner across the bread. Um, but there we have our final, our final bake.